first thing you do is you want to do an outline of the eye or the feature that you're drawing. What I then did after doing that outline was I started shading. If you can notice, I'm trying to use the side of my pencil. The reason why I use the side of my pencil is because it avoids getting scratchy lines. I'm trying to get in those really dark bits first and then starting to smooth that out. Here I'm trying to get a general coverage of that area where I can build back into it, just like you just saw where I started to build in a darker tonal range. I'm continuing to work really fast with the side of my pencil, trying to avoid scratchy lines and not seeing any white paper behind. You can see I'm starting to actually press my pencil a little bit harder and then softer again. And that is to, to create a gradient so that goes from dark to light where I'm looking at in my image. Why it's really important to get tonal range is because it starts to describe a 3D object. The reason it does that is because you can see where the light is hitting the object which makes it not look 2D. So again, I'm just trying to blank out that or shade in that whole section. And then I'll start to build up that tone. You don't need to get the exact tone straight away. You can build it up in layers. I'm doing the same thing here. I've noticed in my image that some of that area was lighter. I've then actually decided to go on to the iris. You can notice in the iris that there is some shapes that I wanted to recognise in that. I can see there's a really dark area at the top which I'm shading in now. And I'm moving along to that shape. The key in drawing is to see in lots of different abstract shapes. It helps with your accuracy. So I'm blocking out that area in quite a dark tone. And you can already see that I've got about three different tones in my image. I'm then starting to move the pencil in the direction of the shapes that I can see. If you look inside your eye, you can normally see lots of different lines which will have different tones to it. So I'll come back to that in a minute. I'm just going to block out the dark bit in the middle of the eye. I'm going to come back in to making those lines now from what I can see in my image. I know that the images that you've got are slightly different to this, but the same applies when you're trying to, um, to create tone in your drawing. Drawing the detail in the eye is a little bit like when you're drawing the reflection of glass, where you can see lots of, lots of shapes of different um, different types of tone. So I've outlined that top bit because I know that's that's a darker area. And I'm going from dark to light in the middle because I know that's where the light hits and it will start to make it look more three-dimensional.
and blocking out that colour or that, sh that shadow. And I realised that this is much darker than what I've done, so I've started to build up on my um, my tonal range. Showing you that it doesn't all have to be done for the first try. Again, I'm supposed to, I, I'm trying to really capture that crease in the skin. When you've got the crease in the skin, it's always going to be a darker area. Now I'm starting to capture some detail. You can see that I just drew in the tiny bit of the eyelid that you can see in the, uh, at the top of your eye. And then I'm going to draw these eyelashes. The eyelashes will often curve round and you'll normally get two or three that will join at the top. Eyelashes are never going to be straight and they'll never come just straight out of the eye. So I'm shading a little bit here to create some more volume in those eyelashes. Make there look like there's more hair. Just really lightly shading that corner of the eye and leaving it a little bit lighter around in the middle so it looks like it curves over and it's three dimensional. adding those last bits of detail and that's finished. What you can also do to create further highlights is for you to use a rubber too.